Welcome, everybody, to another episode of the Mass Capacity Show. I'm one of your hosts, Harv, and with me, Dean. Hello. How's it going, bro? <laughs> Good. <laughs> you don't know what to every, say anymore. Every, every time I ask you, you, just, you start going off on a fucking... I don't know what to do. <laughs> All right. I'm starting saying, like, I'm bad or... I don't know. Oh, you're good. That's good. It's good. It's good to hear. Uh, and also, we have Derek, the roommate. What's up? How's it going? Pretty good, actually. There you go. Good. So now, and rounding out our... Uh, quad, four, the four of us is the first time podcast, Isha. It's our first time podcasting. Hey! How's it going? Oh, you're already better than all of us. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so honored. I'm the first girl to be on your podcast, aren't I? That is true, too. Took 41 <laughs> shows, but I got one. We got it. <laughs> Diversity. Woo! Okay. So how's your guys' week going? Mm, good. Wow, you are really... <laughs> uh, yeah, good. I don't know. I haven't literally done anything else. It's the same as every week. School? Yeah, school. Projects of people not helping, so I'm doing them all by myself. Good times. Well, that's fun. Oh, yeah. that's that, 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 that almost sums up university in a way. Yeah. That's, that's most projects. Unless I just have terrible people in my groups. I've decided that to, on the sheet where they say, like, who did what, I'm literally putting they did nothing from now on. Like, I don't give a shit. <laughs> nothing. I'm just looking for, like, they contributed nothing. Give them a zero. <laughs> Dude, as soon as we go to do, the like, our live presentation, I'm going to signal them out in front of everyone. <laughs> and I'm just oh going to watch God. them bomb. And it's going to be the best thing. You're a Remind me to never do a group project with a dean. Yeah. <laughs> Guy's gonna hijack the entire project. I'm just kidding. I would never do that. I would just, I would just do it all. How about you, Derek? How's your week going? Even though I live with you, so it's like... yeah, uh, pretty great. The uh, the airline that lost my baggage like two months ago finally paid me out. So you still, have, you still... <laughs> what they lost your baggage and you never got it back? Never got it back. They like fucking dropped it in the ocean or something. I have no idea what happened to it. What? But finally, after like months of me badgering them, they like they gave me a fat check for it. So I'm pretty happy about that. More than so what like, you think was actually in there? Oh, way more. I I told them what was. Well, ooh, this podcast better not go like that. Post Mountain is listening. To whoa, 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 whoa! It's not name airlines. But come on. <laughs> At any rate. I may have inflated the price of some of the items by a small amount. Everyone does it, though. And they paid me out the exact amount that I told them, so that's pretty fucking awesome. That's cool. Anyway, let's move on before I, you know, get charged with fraud or some shit. <laughs> you already cast the check, you're good to go. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, once you cast a check, you're safe, man. There's no stat. Yeah. I don't know what I was going to say there. I you you can cash it over your phone it. now. Can deposit it over your phone now. I don't know if people can actually do that though. I don't. I, I, their app doesn't let you do that. Oh, they don't. No, they're they're still back. Oh, they're behind time. Yeah, they're still. Although still their 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 machines are like super advanced now. Like you just put the check in itself with like no envelope, and it just goes in. It scans itself. Oh yeah, yeah. That's like that that's too. old school though. That's what? old that's school. Old school. That's new. Yeah. <laughs> That's no, totally new. the new thing is you just take a picture of your check and you can deposit it over your phone. Yeah, but like this is like we're like in buttfuck nowhere, Canada. Like maybe you have that, like you 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 had those things in other places for a long time, but like this is new here. Like we that was like a few months ago. We had like the old bullshit machine. I always think that BMO o is behind every bank. Maybe that's, that's true because that BMO is the only bank I go to, so maybe the other banks are like. Totally Dude, the, I T TD. the TD just got like the machines where you can put the cash in without an envelope and your, uh, your yeah, check. like but like just now, right? Like, like last like two months, months or something. Yeah, yeah. No, it's been over. It's it's been like at least a year. Oh no, so I, blew my no. mind. Yes, man. definitely. Not here. Not here. No. Way. Okay, well, at least in downtown. I don't know where you guys are depositing your check. Metro <laughs> town? How is that like? Uh, <laughs> I actually think it's BMO just being behind everybody. Probably. Yeah. Because like, if you go to TD, you go to CIBC and everything. They still have all that stuff where you can deposit checks uh, with your camera or like all that kind of thing. All those kind of things. 
There's a Trace limit for app. wire transferring money a month. Hey, I didn't know that. There's a limit? It, with the TD, there is. It's like three grand or something, and you can't wire any more money that, that month. Yeah, because then you're up to shady shit. I guess. I don't know. It's just between like me and Carrie in the summer, and it like, maxed out like three grand. Oh, wow. And one transaction or just for the year? Mm. Three okay. grand in a year is not very no, much. No, no, it's no. Probably it's just, I think it was just for the month, man. I don't know if maybe... Well, it's a thing. Usually, if it's if it's ten grand, if you're depositing ten grand, they have the right to ask you where the money's coming from. Oh. Like, yeah. So yeah, I think the the limit is ten grand, but I don't know. And you like work in this field, so I I trust your, your judgment. I don't work in banking, but I do work in yeah finance. In finance. So. so yes, but yeah. You work uh, in finance. Trust. Pardon me. You work in finance. I do. Can you find a way to make me some money? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get just like get up to like some anti or some money laundering business. I'm not yeah. gonna ask questions. <laughs> He's like, um, I've got a Q and A for you after this. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I've I've seen like fat checks, like well, in other people's hands. I usually don't have them in my hands, but like the last one I saw was like six hundred fifty six fifty six hundred fifty thousand, and someone was going around looking for. How to basically, because like account had a restriction on it. And he was like, yeah, we want to deposit this check. And I was like, hey, why don't you just deposit it into my account? Like, I'll take it. But, yeah, that, that probably That's, Where did you get a $600,000 check from? Um, These are, well, this is like an investment firm, right? So oh. people have like shares and, mm. and like bonds and things like that. Um, so, yeah, basically they, if they're transferring money from their old account, to their new account or like from an old firm to our firm that's how they move all their money over they can do it in cash or kind so yeah they get they deal with like big checks usually so this like big check was like lost like something they didn't know what to do with it or something no no, no there was, there was, a, res there was a restriction on the account because they didn't meet like because like so i deal with the documentation and there was a restriction on the account because they didn't provide something so he was going around saying that or asking if, you know, basically we can waive that restriction because he needs to, like, do something with this check. Uh, <laughs> so, so yeah, I don't know what the result was, but I think they let it they let it go because that's obviously a pretty decent client, but I don't know. I don't know. All right, happened. perfect. We got Isha into the conversation. Let's start the fucking show. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, Derek, you're going to go first. All right, my, my topic is um, knowing what you know now about like life in general if you could turn back the clock and start again what profession or goal would you set for yourself what profession or goal so it doesn't have to be a professional goal <laughs> well i was thinking profession to start with but if you, that's not something you want to answer then you can say like big goal like uh like be a hockey player or something yeah i, I guess sure okay I still don't know what I want to be, so I can't answer that. <laughs> <laughs> no. You're still in the process of finding out. Uh, I think I would have told my younger self more about like um, like health and fitness. Like when I was in high school, I never like thought of like going to the weight room in the gym. I'm like you're stupid, man. I want to hang with my friend. But I wish I had started like younger. That's. Uh... A professional. Oh, I guess. Uh, well, that's a personal goal. Yeah, yeah. personal yeah, that goal. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. That's good, that's good. Yeah. It's right. a lifestyle thing, right? <laughs> Whoa, so. you want to fight? It's my topic, bro. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. That, uh, I, don't know. I don't know what I like. I was thinking about this today. I don't know what I would go with if I wasn't in this. Well, you have a pretty sweet job, so if you don't want to change <laughs> it, that's fine. Like I like what I do. It's fun. It's frustrating at times, but it's fun. So then, how about a personal thing instead? For a personal thing, I think it would be more towards, like, traveling a bit more before I got to this age. Yeah. Like, I'm 27 now, and I haven't really traveled very much. Right. And, like, overseas-wise. Like, I've been to Europe once, but that was for, like, three days. But I would wish I could go there for, like, mo like a month. Yeah. Just go and travel all over Europe. Go see, go to Asia and stuff like that. It, it gets harder and harder as the older you get, I think. Yeah. And once right? you get kids and stuff, that's just... <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're fucked after that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think... Whoa. Well. It's still alive, man. Knock on the door. <laughs> it was a bag. Get your car peel out. Get to the airport. You're set. 
They can't turn them away. <laughs> no, yeah, I think I would go with traveling for personal goals. For, for professional, I think I would do the same. I was thinking of going into like game design, but I'm not a good designer whatsoever. <laughs> like, I can't. I don't have the imagination to design stuff. At what age did you decide what you wanted to do? I wanted to do it when I, got, when I was in grade 9. Holy shit. I, want, I knew I was going to go into computers. I was going to get a computer science degree. That's like, such a big advantage, like, to know early. Because, like, man. Like, he didn't waste any time doing bullshit other stuff, you know? Yeah, just dude, fucking I wasted eight years since high on. school just doing bullshit. Yeah. Like, it's I, sad. I, it's, it's sad at this point. I was brought up with... <laughs> I was brought up with... You're the best. <laughs> I was brought up with the computer. So, because my brother was in this field, right? He's yeah, going yeah. to the field, so I got a lot of influence from him. Well, you just like, oh, I want to be like my big brother. I think a little that. bit of it was that. Mm. I think it was a little bit, but I, I looked up to him, right? So, like, I wanted to be kind of like him. Mm. That's how, how many years are you guys apart? Six. Six? Not bad. Yeah, he's okay. 82, so yeah. Uh, yeah, six years. 82? <laughs> yeah, 19, I, 19, oh, 1982. 1982. Like, oh, fuck. Okay, with the that would make me 88. 76. <laughs> wow! <laughs> yeah, holy shit. Oh. <laughs> There's math right there for you. How about you, Derek? Um, if I could like go back in time and like be like 12 again and start from there, I think I would like work towards being an astronaut. I think that's like the fucking mm. pinnacle of mankind. And if I could do that, that would be fucking amazing. One but, of the astronauts oh, oh. Just got, got back from uh, the ISS. He, he grew two inches. Yeah, he grew two inches. Two in inches. Up. Yeah, you can get taller. That's you even the, that's, that's like <laughs> awesome reason number two. You get taller. What the? There yes. are no negatives in this. I would definitely do. I think it would be like so exciting. Yeah. And like, if you're gonna die doing that, like die doing like a crazy job, that would be the job. Like, you're in like a fucking spaceship, and it like flies up into space and it blows up or something. Everyone's like, fuck, that guy's a hero. Like, you're, you're, you're in an advantage, too, because if, like, a world war starts, you're totally away from it, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, you're, you're, up <laughs> that, like, you're just like, well, you guys are fucked. You're just, you you just watching the carnage from up there. watching all the nukes blow up. You're good, man. <laughs> but that guy has a really cool uh, Instagram that he, when he was up in space. Like, he, every day he posted two pictures. Mm. That was the guy like, who, like, was growing food up there, too, right? Uh, he grew a flower up oh, there. A flower. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> pretty cool yeah how about you isha um i don't know like i've had a pretty good pretty good run i think in terms of like the diverse things that i have done um especially after high school uh but if i guess like a smaller thing it's, it's on a very small scale i wish i had taken french in high school huh. actually, I, thought, I wish you know, that's yeah. actually like uh I was talking to someone the other day, and I said I wish I had tried harder in French because I was yeah. like trying to talk, and I know like nothing. Exactly, yeah. and like language teachers hated me. Like I, I took French in grade eight, and then as soon as I didn't have to take French, I switched to Spanish. But they still hated me, and like I picked up Why Spanish. Did they hate you? What the fuck? <laughs> Because I hated, I hated just like because you hated them. Um, well, no, no, no. I just hated like going to class, and I would just dick around in class, and I wouldn't pay attention. And you know, I used to talk a lot in school. I know, hard to believe, but um, yeah. And so I don't. They just they never liked me. And like I remember in grade eight, our French teacher's name was Miss Dumay, and we used to call her Miss Dumbass. Cause, like, <laughs> <laughs> Just like and like, oh, kind of to her face occasionally. <laughs> so, so yeah, like uh, I just I really do wish, uh, in, not instead of Spanish. I just feel like in this country, obviously French is more beneficial. But um, it is something I still want to go back and do and take take. Language do you think classes. that um, if you could go back and do it all again, that that you would take like French immersion, like go that far? Oh my God, no. No. I don't. No, I don't think I'd want to learn. Like school in French is already hard enough in English. Like, <laughs> so yeah, we, I don't we know. You had to go to French to like grade ten, right? That was our environment, yeah. grade eleven or something like that. Ten, you, you had to like pass eight, nine, ten or something like that. Yeah, so, yeah. it wasn't mandatory though. Like for guys... us, for us it was for eight, yeah, nine. For us it was. But it was, but it's BC curriculum. It should be the same, I think. Wasn't it? Or yeah. maybe well, you guys did graduate before I did. You so know, I don't maybe know. Maybe it was just eight that was mandatory. 
It was, and yeah, then you still did. had to you still had to take a language, but you just got to pick which yeah. language you wanted to take. I, I, it was probably that because like the only language you could take in DP taught yeah, was, was French. French. Yeah, so you're forced you're pigeonholed. So, one. yeah, okay. So it, it wasn't it wasn't the French nine and ten that was necessary. It was a language nine and ten, and that's all we had. That makes sense. Yeah. So so wait, you guys didn't have another language, but yet one of your teachers out there like teaches a class on Lord of the Rings, like. What? Wait, what? <laughs> was it? It was not a thing. Like in high school? No, I remember Tealman. Was it Tealman? Yeah, he Tealman used to uh, teach a Lord of the Rings class in high no, school. No, but school. recently someone didn't. <laughs> yeah. How no, didn't. Up that? Someone How recently that? came up with a course. Yeah, there's learn how to there's, talk like Golem. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's yeah, there was a class in one of the universities that's like that too. Well, university, I yeah, I get that. There's, for sure, yeah, but, but I do, I do remember like, Tealman having a class on Middle Earth. Like he had like one class, or like yeah, an Middle entire Earth. Semester. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was it, it was for a semester. But like, it's supposed to be like you're supposed to take like the stuff that happens in that world, that like, kind of put it to real life, and see like how it compares, like how it is similar. Like what the author dragons, is trying to no dragons. <laughs> <laughs> elves, no elves. <laughs> Two out of two, right? There. Yeah, ace of the test, bro. <laughs> a ring that makes you powerful. Oh. Wish that was real. No rings that make you powerful. You know what? <laughs> At our age, when you get a ring, it makes you weak because it entitles someone to half your shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Lord of the Rings world way better, man. The rings are actually useful. <laughs> Buddy. Uh, you'll be getting that ring soon. <laughs> no. <laughs> He just scoffs it off. I probably should. It's been eight years. God, I feel bad for her. <laughs> D- does, does your girlfriend listen to this? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> well, she should listen to yeah, it now. She probably shouldn't. <laughs> she knows. I, I keep telling her, like, the more she asks, every time she asks, I'm adding a year. But she just doesn't bring it up anymore. <laughs> yeah, she knows now. She knows. <laughs> <laughs> she knows. But but like okay, so I don't get it. Like when when people are, when two people are happy, why does the ring make a huge difference? Like you've already been with her for eight years. Like it why? Make, it does make a difference. I keep telling her to just go to the courthouse, but she doesn't want to. Well, yeah. Oh, well, I guess like if she's dreamt of that day and like you know whatever, if she wants to have a big celebration. Then that guess. makes sense. I could care less. But yeah, and it's a lot of money. That you could be yeah, using that, for other things. <laughs> it's the, yeah, it's the money. Dude, plus that's it's the big money. Signal. I hate I hate half her side of her family. Like they're just annoying. <laughs> <laughs> so like I told her if we're gonna do it, we're gonna go like a destination wedding because they won't come. That's you guys, you guys just like elope, just yeah, vanish. No, I I've tried, but she didn't want to. Yeah. I've tried. Just make it hard on me. <laughs> just make it hard on me. Her? You know what? I, I'll do something when I feel like less of a failure in life, which is. <laughs> I'm not there yet. The I'm most self-deprecating close. person. Uh, two more years. When... I'll, two more years will be done school. Then I'll. I'll feel. What like kind something. of person is Dean gonna be when he's like successful? Like, like this has become his like who he is. <laughs> <laughs> the self-deprecation <laughs> shit, man. Oh. Like, I, I don't know what the other dean. This, this is the dean that I know. I can't give you a raise, but you can have some of my salary, I guess. <laughs> here's, here's my debit card. Just use it. Yeah, here's my visa, man. It's got a ten thousand dollar limit. Have fun. <laughs> hey, dean, what's your topic? Uh, okay, my topic. Let me find it. <clears throat> oh, jeez. Oh, okay. My topic is: Are movie trailers too revealing? Half, I, I want to say yes, because a yes. lot of movie trailers yeah. are. Like, the actual movie trailer, like, the three-minute ones, like, that one with, uh, that Batman versus Superman one. Oh, that's the one, that's the worst With one. Doomsday, oh, that one just, like, the movie's right there. I know, that made me sad. But I like teaser trailers, I like those. Mm, teaser, tra- teaser trailers are really nice, yeah. Because they're, like, 40 seconds, so just kind of gets your foot into the door type thing. Yeah. I don't have cables, so I can't really comment on this too well. You have the internet. I, I don't. Carb, you, you know I barely have time to, like, do anything. I bar- I'm not just sitting there watching YouTube videos. Like, That's not what I do you. either. Did <laughs> Harv download the uh, fucking eight seasons of some sort of show for you? Yeah? Well, sure no, that did. was, like, four. I, no, Derek, I legally bought them. 
Oh, oh yeah, 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 right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what show is that, Harv? The Mindy Project. Oh, you that was like one season, by the way. And um, oh, that was I think, one season. I think you still have a few other seasons of stuff that I that oh, I demanded. Oh, but don't worry, I still have the list. <laughs> <laughs> but but you did download DuckTales, right? I did, and then I deleted it. Yeah, took too long. Awesome. Why? You took too long. It's like 50 gigs. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. Wow. Shit, that's it's small. Is. I don't even have a storage device that could fit that. You'll have to take, like, chunks of it, one season at a time. How many seasons of DuckTales are there? There's only, like... Two seasons, I think. How is it? Fit? What the? No, fuck? it's no. No, hard. Ducktales definitely had like more. It's like it's no. Cartoon. They probably had it. It was Dude, on for Old cartoons though said they were like three seasons, but each season had like ninety-seven episodes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, true, true. <laughs> it's not four, Ducktales. Four though, seasons, a hundred episodes. Oh, it's not bad. Wikipedia has answered the question. That's Her. oh wow. Knowledge. Someone lied to me. They said it was like twenty-eight episodes. Nope. He probably that was a great show, but DuckTales was good. DuckTales was sick, man. Yeah, it was awesome. Surprised Scrooge you didn't have a marathon like after you Louie walked. and Dewey and Dewey or whatever the fuck name. Dewey? <laughs> <laughs> he, like, dives into, like, the gold coin. What, what, other, what other trailers do you guys think are too revealing before you even watch the movie? Well, I guess we should get back to the point. Um, mm. I only thought about this today because of the Ghostbusters one. I thought that kind of, like... Didn't give a lot away, but it gave. I like. I feel like a couple of the scenes. But what, what were you expecting out of that, though? It's a Ghostbusters movie. Yeah, but I guess you haven't seen the other Ghostbusters. I haven't seen them, so I'm just. I don't know. I just. It's sad. They're, they're, like they I can't those. not watch the trailers. I tried with like Star Wars. I lasted like two weeks. But it's like I, <laughs> I want to get a glimpse. But then like I don't know that Get Hard movie with uh, Kevin Hart and uh, Will Ferrell. Ice Cube. All the funny. Oh, no, no. All, oh yeah, that's all, uh, all the funny bits were in the uh, commercial. Like when I that happens movie, a lot in comedy movies. I hate oh, that. Man, that yeah. train wreck movie with Amy Miller, or whatever. Or Amy Schumer. Schumer. Yeah, whatever. Schumer. Yeah, for comedy movies, you gotta do that because you have to show something. You yeah, can't but then you go and watch it, and it's like I've seen all this before, and you just sit there for two hours, and you're like, I can't believe I spent money on this. But that know? that doesn't matter to them though. They already got you to buy a ticket. Yeah, but I, I, then I'm not uh, gonna go watch any more movies with them. Yeah, yeah like you Amy are. Schumer's blacklisted. I'm off her team. <laughs> she had a really good stand-up. Her stand-up so. She funny. steals it. Haven't you seen all the things the last couple weeks about her like stealing people's bits? Like times no. people came out. Oh, I don't really. Know. Yeah. No way, yeah, man. It was like a big thing a couple weeks ago. Huh. Hmm. Sucks. I kind of like her. She's really good. Yeah. Uh, Have you seen her bit? Oh fuck! I, I shouldn't go more off on a tangent. She um, has a good TV show. It's like Inside Amy Miller or, something, or Amy Schumer. Dude, that show is so funny. Man. Is it? I haven't seen Super. it. No, I haven't seen it either. I haven't really looked it out. Inside what? Amy Schumer? Inside oh. Amy something? I think it's called. Inside Amy. Hmm, okay. Um, where is that on Netflix or? Comedy Central. Comedy Central. Oh, it's yeah. It's one of those random channels. Yes, I'm aware. I'm not behind times in that sense. <laughs> it hasn't been that long since I've been cut off from cable. Who needs cable anymore, seriously? No. Cable is overrated. It really is. But... Yeah, that's surprising. I never, I never heard that about her. But I really like Trainwreck. I just watched it recently. I just like John Cena the... in there, man. He's hilarious. <laughs> I haven't John seen him. John Cena's in there. Yeah. I haven't seen it. What else? What other trailers have really been really uh, revealing, as they would call it? I guess I don't, I don't feel like. Um... That Suicide Squad movie trailer really gave away too much because, like, we still don't know who they're like fighting or whatever. Yeah. Hey, who's the bad guy? We still don't know a lot about that, which is pretty good. They introduce the characters pretty well, but they don't really like reveal. Yeah, too nobody much. really knows the villain in that. Yeah, that's yeah which they did an okay good. job, I think. The last trailer was really good. They did a good job with that trailer. That that movie looks good. I don't know. It seems like it seems like um, I guess more like the superhero. Superhero y movies seem to be like really bad for giving shit away, too. Like the Most New of the time, America yeah. one. Oh, Civil War? Yeah, that one seems pretty like. I feel like we've seen the beginning of all the big fight scenes. I haven't even seen the first Civil or the first Captain America. Oh, the second one was really good. Super good, man. I haven't seen any of them yet. I Winter Soldier is so good. Yeah, that's a good one. But the thing is, like, I guess maybe they're just assuming everybody knows what Civil War is at this point. I don't even know what the fuck it is. Like, they just assume that everybody knows what the continuity is. 
Harv, that is a very big assumption. I know, that's... I know. <laughs> that's I mean, so, some people don't even know who Joseph Stalin was, so... Who, who did I have this conversation with? With me. With <laughs> you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah. I forgot what the conversation was, but I remember well, something about Joseph Stalin. Yeah, we were playing Cards Against Humanity, and like uh, one of the girls, she was withholding a few cards, and then for the longest time, like she just had them in her hands, and then she like nudged me, and she's like, "Hey, Isha, what what do these cards mean?" And like one of them was Joseph Stalin, the other one was Auschwitz, and I can't remember. <laughs> oh, the <story>. oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> Yeah. See, I, oh I don't know. I don't know what would I be more offended if she said what's Auschwitz and what's who's <laughs> Joseph Stalin. Well, I was just like, I was like, where were you for social oh studies my. eleven? Like, oh clearly not present. But anyway, so that is just a big assumption. I just wanted to correct that. <laughs> Those are like fucking <laughs> fucked up cards, man. To be fair, man, I played cards against humanity with some people, and they have no idea what any of the cards mean. You have to be able to play it with. People who also get your humor. That, yeah, that's yeah. when it's funny. Otherwise, it's like, it's just really sad. The last game of I've Cards Against Humanity. I've never seen that card in Cards Against Humanity. They have Auschwitz in there. That's kind of bad, dude. It's just... Have you played Cards Against Humanity? The entire <laughs> thing is offensive. Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> yeah, but not really in that way, though. I didn't know that Auschwitz. Dude, card. one of the cards is just like, it, it's literally like Pac-Man uncontrollably guzzling cum. That's the card. Yeah, but, the, you know, that's like, <laughs> that's just like super dirty. It's not like... <laughs> <laughs> not well, well no and one of them was like one of them was oh what did um what did they drop on the kids of of afghanistan or something oh, like God. it's just like it's super <laughs> offensive but like it's just it's, it's funny. obviously funny yeah, uh, yeah. no I'm not, I'm not against the game or anything i just didn't realize that card was in there yeah. i guess I but there are a lot of cards anyway yeah i was gonna find that game but i bet it's only online um, you can get it printed, and it's cheaper if you if you do it that way. Yeah, because like you, you was... can download it for your computer, and then you can all you can play with a bunch of people like online. Like you could all be in a Skype and playing cards against somebody online. Hmm. Oh, really? Yeah, it's just like it's it's, it's like a free game someone made. You just gotta Google it. Hmm. Interesting. All right, so uh, next topic. I guess is there anything else we want to say about movie trailers? Stop screwing us over. Just show us 40 seconds and we're good to go. He That's said it. Show us, that way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nope. Just show us, like... I don't know what you're pointing like, anymore. This is a Batman movie. Batman is in it. That's all I need to know, man. Cool. Here's my money. I'm I want a little bit more than that. <laughs> man, if I become a director, I'm going to make movies, but I'm not going to put the people in it. So I'm going to have, like, Deadpool, but there's going to be no Deadpool. I'm just going to fuck with people the whole movie. And then they'll leave and it wasn't even a Deadpool movie. Or I would, <laughs> How I would make awesome a, would that be? I would make a trailer that has scenes that are not in, in the movie at all. Or that. That, that does happen sometimes. Yeah. Actually, sure. i got to say one thing. A, a trailer recently just did a really good job. That new 12 Cloverfield Lane. Yeah, they didn't give anything away other yeah, than actually, basically that, like, that the basement. Crazy trailer. They, the, especially the first trailer. trailer at all in that fucking trailer. Yeah, the right. first trailer was fucking awesome. So sick. It's Have like, you seen that, Isha? Wait, what is it? Is it just like a Cloverfield like uh, sequel? Oh, the sequel. No, I haven't seen it. But the first, I think the first movie, it had a pretty like elusive trailer as well. It did. It's the one where they're at the party. Yeah. And they're having a good time and stuff like that, and they hear this shit going on outside. And that it's done a... done with the cam like a handy camera or whatever. Like yeah, one of those yeah. little When when is this coming out? That was a pretty good movie. I think it's oh. coming out soon. It should be coming out soon. It, it was in the movie trailer when we watched Deadpool. 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 Deadpool? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so it's gotta be coming out like this year probably. Maybe early. Yeah, it'll be summer. Oh, yeah. cool. Also JJ Deadpool Abrams was thing. the shit. Deadpool was good. Deadpool was good, yeah. Yeah. Lived up to the height. Do you remember um, the trailer for, um, what was that, what was it called, like, Party X or, like, something? Oh, I know what you're talking about. Oh. That was, I never watched the movie, Project but that X? was a weird, Project, Project X. X, yeah. Where they're having, like, that big house party. Yeah. Yeah. What, did anyone watch that? Yep. Nope. I did not. It was not bad. What was, was it, it even Was it a boat? serious film, or was no, it, like, no, a... it was, like, a joke. They were, like, oh. driving cars into the pool and shit. Oh, like kind of like Jackass, but uh, yeah, but like not real. Like I don't know, it's just ridiculous partying. Yeah. Uh, okay. That Cloverfield movie comes out next Friday. 
Really? Oh, it's sweet. March 11th. Yeah. Can't believe it's March already. God damn it. I know. <laughs> I haven't done anything. You're well, your thing's about to end soon anyway. Dude, time goes done. by way too fast when you get older. It's insane. Like, it's blowing me away. It's like, it was Monday yesterday and it's Friday tomorrow. I don't get it. <laughs> I'm okay with it. Know, That's my I'm weekend sad. coming up, so <laughs> I'm okay with it. All wow. Right. I'm going to go with my topic. Okay. So this topic, uh, I thought of it today, like probably like two hours ago. <laughs> and so I'm going to list out six things. And I want you guys to rank the most important thing to the uh, most least important thing that's in your life. With these six, six things. So the six things I have are... Do I need a pen and a paper? No, it, it's pretty generic stuff. Okay. So you're going to know. Uh, movies, TV shows, books, games, comics, and music. And we're listing it from least important to most important? Most important to least important. <clears throat> music? So if, I guess each of them going first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought we were just going to shout out, like, you know. We need order. order. We had to shout out shit. Wait, what were the things? Music? Yeah. yeah. I, need, I need to actually write this. Music, thing. books, comics, music, books, TV shows? Books, yeah. Games, TV, movies. Okay, so I'm. Movies? No, movies, TV shows, yeah. books, yeah. games, yeah. comics, yeah. music. Okay, yeah, I will go first. So, music, TV shows, movies, <laughs> books, games, <laughs> and comics. <laughs> she sounds so confused. Games? <laughs> I care just as much about games as I do about comics. <laughs> Five or six. Yeah, I was confused, I was, I was, but I was like, I, was, I really don't read comics, so. I was, I was, I was sitting there very uh, intrigued to what your last two would be, like what your order they would be in. <laughs> uh, Is it, was, wouldn't it have been kind of obvious that, yeah, that like, comics so. would be at the very end? I guess so. But you, you don't play games either, so. No, and but you didn't specify what kind of games, right? Like, I could have been, like, a board game freak and been like, yeah, games, but... Obviously, I don't like video game or anything, but yeah. I used to, but not anymore. Back in the day. Back in the day, I was going to say, yeah. Yeah. Like when N64 was still a thing. And Golden age. Still a thing. Yeah, that's true. It's literally it's five feet from you. If you just look to your left, it's there. Don't, don't follow his directions. He doesn't know where the fuck he's pointing. <laughs> <laughs> I have a like, internal compass. It's... I'm lost. When did when did you guys get it, or did someone just just do you guys just have it like from like a long time ago? From a long time ago. Oh okay. Yeah, it's different. Did you did you ever play Wave Race? Does anyone remember yeah. that game? Yeah, that game was fucking. Oh my god, terrible. That, that game was awesome. I loved it. Uh, that game was great. That when and have, Golden like, Eye. When you have Golden Eye and like Mario Kart to play, why would you play Wave Race? Uh, you guys That's didn't true. mention the best Nintendo sixty four game and No Mercy. Just saying. No. It's not bad. Never Best wrestling game ass. ever. It's it's actually pretty good. It was sweet. It's, it's a good game. I was Best a woman's champion and I was like a three hundred pound man. <laughs> That's all I want. You just overpowered the other person. I remembered? No. Uh, I re I have comics coming in last. Last. Yep. Games <laughs> coming in at number five. Music at number four. Books at number three. Movies at number two. And TV shows at number one. <laughs> why is com why is comics last? Because I literally do that the least now. Oh, okay. Uh, I just so started it's... playing Rocket League, so I've done that more than comics, so it gets spot number five. It's a good game, man. It's fun. Got it for the Xbox One? Yeah. It's cool shit. Good game. So are, are you saying this priority list is just relevant to, like, the time now? Like, right now? I guess. Whatever what do you guys, whatever you guys think that would be just better like your, for you guys. Your, your personal. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Comics okay. are always going to be last for me. They're kind of like a thing I can go without. Oh, okay. I'm yeah, really into I'm... books now, though, man. For some reason, I've been reading a lot. A lot of those Fiction. um self help books. Uh, no, all kinds ooh, of shit. Ooh, ooh. The new one I have right now is called No Place to Hide. It's on um, Ed. It's about Edward Snowden and releasing the like, NSA documents. It's, oh, yeah. it's really good. Like, if you need, that. if you want to watch a good documentary, uh, you should watch um, Citizen Four. Fucking badass. Oh, badass. I remember that. It'll 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 fucking scare you, man. Is it about him? Yeah, but it's about like more. It's fucking freaky, man. It's no sissing his privacy. They're watching you right now. Some guys in, in, in the NSA right now are like, I don't know, man. He could be doing anything. Touching himself, watching us talk right now. You never know. 
It's crazy. I'm <laughs> <laughs> I felt like you were trying to build up some anticipation there, and like you were just like, I fell off. Next, though, you're gonna be putting a post-it on your webcam. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I just fucking hide it. It's just <laughs> gone. Yeah. <laughs> can't see me. How about you, Derek? Um. Well, I definitely put music as number one, and yeah. games, and games as number two. But I'm lumping the f- the last four together as number three. I can't decide. Wow. What? <laughs> I never pegged you for a music person first. I thought you'd be a gamer first. No, okay. it's music, kind of music first, then games. What kind of music? Uh, all sorts, oh. really. That's what makes it the best, is that it, you know, there's music in movies, there's music in TV shows, there's music in games, it's, 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 it's everywhere, right? I, it's, me- I remember we were drinking one night, and I tried to test him on gaming oh, yeah. music, and I just, put, I just put song. 20 seconds of the song. And this guy, boom, gets it right away. Nice. Gets it. Like, I was like, what the fuck, man? in there. Anyway, and then I couldn't decide between... I, I want to put books and comics as number three, probably, together, and then TV movies as number four. But it's really close between all four of those. I guess I, I, you could have substituted your comics for uh, mangas for you. Well, that's, that's what comics, comics are, right? Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Someone eating chips? No, oh, she's eating, sorry, eating celery. celery. Eating celery. <laughs> sorry. In a sound test, I would have been like, "Someone's eating chips." Like, that's not but, fair. But I that's what you always assume when, like, when it's over, like, some sort of like voice device. It's voice. just chips. It's just chips. It always, it always sounds like that. Yeah. Even on the I've... phone, it sounds like chips and shit. Yeah. But... Okay. All right. For mine. Hey, kudos yeah. for being healthy. I know I'm starving right now. My <laughs> celery, <laughs> celery's not helping. <laughs> I want you to get it. I want you to get it. <laughs> I'm the one that had the celery. <laughs> Better be some celery left. <laughs> you probably nibbled all of it. You probably God, just fucking. Damn, damn rabbit. Hey, hey. hey. I've nibbled of, half of it. Have you ever heard of ants on a log? Please. Yeah, it's yes. Yes. Dude. Really? That literally sounds like the most disgusting thing. Peanut butter and raisins on celery is fucking uh, nasty. So good, Peanut man. butter. On anything, it's amazing. Quick question. What? <laughs> uh, <Arms>. Smooth or... <laughs> <laughs> How's your cramping or style? What? What are we? Uh, smooth or crunchy peanut butter? Mm, oh. Smooth. Crunchy. Crunchy. Crunchy, but I always get smooth, so... <laughs> only Contradictory. Only are to spread. Yeah. Especially on bread that's not toasted. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Because if you like try to put crunchy on like normal untoasted bread, you like rip the bread and it's like, fuck this. Yeah, you gotta you gotta get some really. <laughs> <laughs> it's not worth it, man. You gotta get some like really hefty bread, like that rye bread your parents brought one. Yeah, that, that, oh my God. that thing has some heft to it. Like, you can put some crunchy peanut butter. Do you on remember that. when peanut butter used to come in glass jars and had the peanut on top? No. What are we like forty? <laughs> <laughs> you don't remember that? I used to have them. They used to be like my piggy banks when I was a kid. The uh, the bears. It used to be in the shape of a bear, and it'd be peanut butter, and on top oh. would be a real peanut. I don't remember the peanut on top, but I do remember the bears. Yeah, I and think. they were glass. Some of them were glass, and then later on they went to plastic, and then they went to what they have now. But yeah, it was like glass. It was really cool. It's probably because it's really expensive. <laughs> yeah. yeah <laughs> <that's> <laughs> Have you? Do you guys think the combination of peanut butter and cheese sounds good? No, uh, no, <laughs> never had. That. Yeah, someone. I don't know. I don't can't remember who it was, but they were just going on about how it's like the most amazing thing, and I was like, love both those things Can I individually. Kind of but yeah. you know what's really good? Cheese like cut up into like squares with onions diced on top of it and seasoning salt. It sounds gross. Really good. Say that again. Cheese. Like, you take a block of cheese and you, like, cut it into little squares. And then you, like, dice up some onions, put some onions, like, sprinkle the onions on top, and then s- put some seasoning salt over all of it. It's really good. That sounds good, honestly. Uh, I have to say one more thing. Does it not seem crazy that these little peanuts murder people every day? <laughs> like, I, I've never... <laughs> think about it, man. Who... <laughs> these, these, little, these little, like, death... These little death fucking nuts. And they kill people. It's insane how many people are allergic to peanut butter, man. 
But a girl yeah. in high school had to get, like, stabbed in the chest and taken away in an ambulance because someone who had eaten a peanut butter sandwich touched her, like, throat, and she started, like, swelling up. Yeah. That would suck so it's much. It's like in, oh you God. can indirectly murder someone without knowing. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's crazy. It's fucked up. Imagine, like, being allergic to bees. Like, a bee just a mm. fucking... Like, it's not like... Like, you can avoid peanuts. Like, you know where the peanuts are. <laughs> that bee can't... You can't ignore That bee just comes out of fucking nowhere. You're, like, having a fun walk in the park and you get <laughs> on your dead. It's over. You have no control over bees. Yeah. Uh, well, I never got stung by a bee. No? Nope. What a nice life you lead, Harv. I've only know, been right? stung by a wasp. That's different. It's it hurts like a bitch, but just for, like, a little while. And yeah. then it kind of just goes... And you're like, ah, okay, fuck it. Okay. The, uh, wait, I, one story. In the summer, I was working with the school district, and I was weed whacking in this shitty town called McBride. And, uh, <laughs> Shout out to McBride. I think, I'm not even kidding. This, the high school has, like, 60 students. Wow. No joke. Anyway, they were like, I was walking by and they were like all in the same fucking classroom. It's, it's sad. But <laughs> I was like weed whacking. This guy like started throwing stuff at me. And I'm like, what the hell? And I looked down and I had hit a wasp nest. And there must have been like a thousand wasps and like on me. And I didn't even realize. I ran like like a fucking tiger was chasing me, man, into the truck. And I sat in the truck for like 10 minutes. <laughs> just, just to wait them out. I, yeah, they scare me, man. Fuck that. Okay, so for my for my list, I will have to put music number one. That's a necessity for me. I have to have music. Pink Floyd. Anywhere, anywhere do you mean, I, yeah, do you mean music or do you mean Pink Floyd? No, music in general. <laughs> I'm on a Metallica kick right now. I've been listening to a lot of Metallica. Um, no, everywhere I go, like if I'm like going, like going to work, traveling anywhere, music is number one. Then I would go with TV shows. Derek knows. <laughs> I think I have a problem with TV shows. <laughs> yeah. uh, each of definitely us. have a problem. Slightly. <laughs> hey, I've been trying to cut cut some out, right? And we're very yeah, happy cut for some your out, and then you also need to like get on some. So I don't know. Well, how you're not helping that. me. You're 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 an enabler. <laughs> <laughs> you're an enabler. You, you know what? I agree with Harv's logic of why he likes TV shows because it's way better for getting into like character development stuff rather than a movie. Which is so linear and like you know two hours long. It's hard to get. Yeah, you don't have you don't have that investment in a movie. Yeah. Like, no. Would Unless you... it's the character. But that's kind of the beauty of it. Sometimes, right? Yeah. Like. Unless it's Frozen, man. So much fucking character development in that show. <laughs> it's off the chain. That was <laughs> a great movie. Uh, and then I would go video games. For sure, that'd be number three for me. And then okay. number four would be. Uh, Books, and then uh, movies. No, actually, no. I go movies, then books, and then comics at the end because I don't read comics. Comics are. I just don't see the point of comics. Comics are cool if you're the, the collector, and if you like to read them, just torrent them. You just steal them. Yeah, because like I, I started watching, uh, not watching, uh, reading The Walking Dead. I got to like 103 or something like that, and now I just go to the synopsis when they come out and just. Read through like that. Yeah, it's way hmm. It's too tough. I do that. I do that with movies. <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> when I don't have time to watch them, which is most of the time, um, just read the synopsis, and then I can contribute in a discussion if it comes up. <laughs> Unless they ask how the how, how the acting was in the movie, like all right. Oh yeah, okay, I think about that. Yeah. You could say anything though. You just be like, oh, it was great, and then people be like, oh. <laughs> yeah. If, if it's like something no like Hugh knows. Jackman, I can assume how it was. So huge Jackman. Hugh Jackman. Does, does that does that mean that you don't like his acting, or you like his acting? I do not like his acting. Okay. <laughs> he's not that bad. He's talented he, as fuck, though. He's questionable. Yeah, uh, I think the roles that he plays occasionally. I guess what he's known for. I, I don't like his acting in X Men. Um, but generally speaking, yeah, he's he's a pretty decent actor. He just. Hasn't come out yet, I don't think. I actually don't think I've seen a Hugh Jackman movie that wasn't Wolverine or the X Men. Les Miserables. I've never seen that. I haven't seen that. Good movie. Good? They mess. Very good. Or remember, did we watch Prisoners together? I can't remember, but that was a weird movie. I like, don't really know weird. if we did. I can't remember. Have you seen Prisoners? Yeah, I have. I don't know who I watched it with, though. So we must have seen it together. Um, but that was a weird movie. That was a good movie too. It Jake Gyllenhaal, though, that guy, I. I don't like him very much. Really? Big, yeah. 
Dude, he was good in that boxing movie. I just watched that recently. Oh, I didn't watch that. Um, Southpaw? Southpaw, yeah. Fuck, that's a good movie, man. It was really good. Looked decent. Yeah. It looked decent. Uh, okay. what, what about Leo? Who's pumped for Leo? Good job, Leo. High five. I still haven't watched The Revenant. I haven't seen it either. But Apparently it's he good. just fights a bear at the beginning of the movie, and the rest of the movie is just him dying. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I haven't seen all of it, but I've watched like a good hour of I it. I just saved you two hours, Arv. Awesome. <laughs> I, I know he kills the bear, and then he like sleeps inside the bear. He did a Star Wars thing. He does not sleep inside bear. the bear. He sleeps inside like a horse or some shit. A horse it. or something like that? A horse? He sleeps inside an animal, for sure. Oh, okay. I haven't gotten to that part, so thanks, oh, guys. Oh, sorry, thanks my for bad. That. Spoiler. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Um, the remember the one episode where we did Game of Thrones and spoiled the shit out of that? <laughs> <laughs> the Red Wedding? Everyone dies. <laughs> yeah, I was pissed about that. I'm still on season two, so I'm very pissed. Oh. Wait, he actually ruined it for you? Mm-hmm, yeah. Oh, that's sad. Poor I didn't listen. know he I didn't know he dies and then like you had to also describe the scene where he dies where people think he's still alive and I'm like, oh, great. <laughs> great. We, I think she, you listened to that one episode, right? I think because we spoiled it in that one episode. Oh, we're the worst people. Yeah, you should have put a spoiler alert. I was saying that the entire time, but everyone was like, no, well fucking if they if they listen to it, fucking who cares? Do you wanna know what happened in the last season? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Okay, I won't tell you that. I still plan to watch it one day, so. Yeah. But, um. Okay. Let's go to the final topic. This is just a random thing. No, I actually have a topic. Oh, do you? I do. Okay. I thought of one on the spot. Oh, there it is. <laughs> you, you have saved us out of Trump talk. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, God. No. Yeah, none of that. Um, so... Growing up, obviously you guys were into Disney movies. Oh yeah, right. Hell yeah. Um, going back and dissecting those movies and thinking about all the subliminal messages in those movies, what what do you guys what do you guys think? Like, well, well do you Snow think White was about gangbang? So <laughs> what? <laughs> gangbang. I'm just kidding. Because of her seven dwarves or whatever. That's the right movie, right? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that is the right movie. Sleeping like Beauty so many... said you can get what you want if you poison people. That was that movie. She poisoned her with the apple. She fucking committed murder so she get ahead in life. Didn't she get poisoned? That's well, yeah, but I mean the witch poisoned the chick. But eventually the witch got fucked up though. Yeah. So the there's moral... no prince in real life, man. You're dead. <laughs> there's no one come to kiss you. You poison. That's it. <laughs> GG. Good game. I'm the CEO uh, now. Such a, such a bleak <laughs> life. <laughs> I'm a realist, man. I really understand what goes on. It's been so long since I've seen any Disney movies other than, like, the new ones. So I don't... I don't know. Like, wasn't there something, like, really bad-ish in uh, Aladdin? Didn't, like, Jasmine, like, do something really bad or something? It w- there was something. I'm trying to think. Of- no, I think they just did, they just put Jasmine's pictures up on, like... Disney porn quite a bit. <laughs> like, what is, is that what you're thinking of? Because of because of what? No, like, no. Like, she, like she did something in. The, she said something or did something in the in the movie itself that like went under the radar for a while or something. I'll, I'll try to look it up. But yeah, it, it's been so long. I I can't really remember. Did they have like? Yeah. Okay. Didn't they have like um in some of the movies like uh, in the clouds like a dick and stuff. Like for real? Like, no, no, no. Was, oh yeah, like in yeah, no, in uh, in um, Lion King, they had sex. Yeah. Apparently in, in the in the stars or something like yeah. that. And yeah. then also, and also, like I think it was one of the, one of the scenes where the 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 um the sky turns into like the lion or something, and it's supposed to be like a figure of a naked body. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm. That's one too. So Disney yeah. is also selling sex. There's no company that doesn't sell sex, apparently. Yeah, no, it's the poster. Well, it's the poster for the Lion King. The poster for the Lion King. Yeah. Really? Yeah. It's supposed to be uh, a naked lady. Someone yeah, did not up. do their job to screen these. Or just... they just? I don't know. I feel like maybe they just um, they they kind of do those types of things so that later down the road, I think people can go back and have something to talk about, so that'll still be like. 
a subject that people are are yet like buzzing about you know i i kind of feel like they do it on purpose like us 20 years later right now yeah yeah uh i don't see it where is it which which one's the original poster uh is it where oh, he's, like, sure. holding the, the kid up no, no. <laughs> the kid <laughs> the cub whatever same thing the kid a lion kid, okay. I put, I put it in Skype. Oh, sweet. And it's number five on the list. Oh, I didn't realize you could see that. Wow. I don't know. The magic of Skype. Most of the like subliminal messages just being like friendship and love and stuff. Isn't that really like what all those movies are kind of about? Like their main goal. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Family and revenge is usually one of them too. Revenge. So a lot this of is, uh, I found something on Wikipedia. I don't know if this is true, but um, it says... It's true, man. You gotta figure, you gotta, you gotta know that. It says um, that when Aladdin is attacked by the tiger, he quietly says a line that sounds a lot like he says, good teenagers take off your clothes. Yes! <laughs> oh my god. And, and there was like a huge thing about it, and... Uh, Sorry, which character says that? Uh, Aladdin. Aladdin. Yeah. Oh. I remember that. That's the one I remember. So there was some sort of controversy there, but, uh... But, like, also, like, if you think about it, back then, they didn't even really, like... They didn't pick anything about, like, interracial relationships or, like, princesses. Like, when the princess and the frog came out, um, that was a big deal because it was a black princess. Yeah, the first one, right? Oh yeah, right. I remember. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. And I don't know if also, I've seen that movie. it's a good movie. Yeah, it's a pretty good movie. I cried. Yeah. Um, and also, like, they don't. There isn't a lot of death in Disney movies. Like, they're just well, showing. Well, it's for kids, though, right? So. Yeah, but I mean, like. I can't remember. Yeah. Which movie I watched? Which I just, movie I watched that had death in it. Bambi. Yeah, Bambi, Bambi, yeah. Lion King. Oh, yeah, Bambi. Yeah, Lion Bambi. King. But Lion... Oh, yeah, Lion King, yeah. Yeah, he never came back to life. But but his spirit was always around. Like, that's the it's thing. It's a sad that's what they moment, do. though. Didn't Ariel's a... dad get, like, shanked in the ocean? <laughs> I don't know. I, yeah, I, maybe. I, I don't know. <laughs> I think he was at her wedding. Or Wait, Ariel's... Oh, yeah, 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 Isn't her dad, like, Poseidon? I thought he got, like... I thought, he, I thought that, he, that, like... The fat chick killed him and then took her voice. Ursula? Yeah, yeah. maybe. Maybe that's what happened. Yeah. I don't know. I, I literally chick, haven't yeah. seen that movie. Since that movie was scary when you were a kid, man. The fucking oh witch. Oh my god, Holy so fuck. scary. That scared the shit out of me. Witch. The witch. The evil sea witch. Oh. Okay. The giant tentacles and shit. Oh my god, that shit scared the shit out of me. So I got this list. So I don't remember some of these. Quasimodo's mom. Who's Quasimodo? And the hunch, Hunchback of Notre Dame. Died. Athena. Who's so I'm name? guessing that's Ariel's mom. That's who died. Oh. Uh, I don't even. I don't even remember her. Darn. There was a death in uh, Princess and the Frog. It was James. Yeah, the the little cricket or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. He became a star or something, right? Yeah. yeah. That that it. I think they had basically done a death after a really, really long time, and so that was a big deal for that movie. It's, this movie's, but, this thing's also got Pixar things, too. But I, I don't know if that's lots of Pixar that. things, like Wally's like in the, the Garage and Toy Story, and... Uh, I think the, the saddest one of all Pixar movies is Ellie in Up. Up was probably the most saddest Pixar movie I've ever seen. Ellie in Up, what, what happens Pixar. to that one? It's, it just tugs on your heart. Strings. Yeah. Is that the one where they float the house? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, with the old that man? Was, oh. yeah. yeah. Who's Ellie, though? His wife? Yeah. Oh, she's dead. <laughs> yeah, she died. Oh. <laughs> she, she's dead. She's dead. <laughs> Move on. Gone. She's dead. And then there's Bambi's mom and Mufasa. Mm. Yeah. Mufasa's the one that stands out the most in my head for some reason. Yeah, uh, I agree. I think Mufasa is the main one. Cause like that, that was like the main Disney movie back in back in my yeah, yeah, like, back was, in our day. Dude, and, you, and his, you know what my favorite Disney movie is? Fucking 101 Dalmatians. For some fucking reason, that's my favorite show. I think I watched it a lot when I was a kid. That's the one with Cruella Deville, right? Yeah. yeah, she was a bitch. 
Yeah. <laughs> Scary, man. <laughs> um, did you know in, in the Hercules movie, Hercules is wearing Scar? Scar? You know what? Scar from The Lion King? Hercules really? Hercules is wearing him in a scene. What the fuck? Yeah, so, like... That's morbid? Yeah, you know, uh, it's like, it's like a rug, but he's, like, wearing him like a badass. Creepy. Damn. What, okay, so, what's you guys' favorite Disney movie? So, I guess yours would be Lion King, Dean? No, it's 101 Dimensions, bro. Oh, 100 Dimensions. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he just said that. that. <laughs> fuck me, you, you don't listen to me, man. No one listens. <laughs> we just lose Dean. <laughs> Dean? Yeah, Dean? <laughs> what about you, Derek? Uh, I'm just looking at a list real quick here to make sure I don't forget anything. I honestly <laughs> like Pixar movies better than Disney. I think. What's your favorite Pixar movie? Mm. Toy Story. Oh. I kind of like that Wally show. It was kind of different. Wally was good. I enjoyed Wally. I haven't seen Wally. <laughs> really? They mm-hmm. don't really say much. They just say Wally and Eva for <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, so is that why you guys enjoyed it? There was no dialogue. No, there's dialogue it's in it. It's just there's like fat people on a spaceship or something. Yeah, because I'm <laughs> lazy. Hard to get my link, man. I did. See, he's wearing them. Oh, he has too. Holy, he's wearing fuck. scar. I didn't. Yeah. Well, that's fucking crazy. It's creepy. Uh, how about you, Isha? What's your favorite? My favorite Disney movie. Yeah. Um, I want to say it was. Probably Aladdin. Mm, that's a good one. Yeah, that's the yeah. same. Same with me. Aladdin was my favorite. Mine's I've Jungle. Watched... Mine's Jungle Book. Just mm. to throw it back oh, really? Again. That's a good one. I that. That's a... I that one wasn't. They're really remaking it right now, aren't they? Yeah. 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 yeah live action. Mm-hmm. I don't know about that. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. Yeah. No, I would go with Aladdin. Why, why do they keep resurrecting these movies from the dead? Like, because they, they did funny. They can make money. They've done like so many versions of Snow White and and yeah, like Cinderella, Cinderella, like seven yeah. Cinderella movies. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, <laughs> just watch. Not, once upon not. a time, it'll cover everything. Yeah, no shit. I was just gonna say that. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got I got Ethan to start watching Once Upon a Time. You know yeah, what? but I got so sick of it. Like by season three, it oh. was just really bad. I feel like each season only has like four episodes that are actually consequential to the show. <laughs> Yeah. The rest of it just fell in. I just yeah, I would just, it, like, nap it's... through them. What's that? I was just saying, I, I used to nap through them, because, like, they just got so repetitive, and I was like, I don't need to know this, and then I pick up, like, two episodes later, and I'm like, oh, okay, like, you kind of get the gist of what's going on. <laughs> So-and-so is still lost, they're still looking for him. Okay, that's it, no one died. Yeah. That's pretty much the end of it. You know what's yeah. a good show, man? The 100. That show's insane. It's like That's that. funny. Uh, yeah, it looks really cool. Like it looks... it, I thought it was for, like, teens, right? And every episode, someone dies. Like, it's... it's, it's, it's oh, I, like, I don't think in three seasons, someone hasn't died in an episode. It's insane. Like, they're so thin on characters pretty soon, man, because they've killed everyone. I, I don't get it. They just introduce new ones. It's just pretty much how it goes. I don't know. They, like, kill, like, entire army. And they just, it's, like, no big deal. <laughs> I think my favorite is Aladdin, because I love the genie. He's like my favorite character in Disney. Robin Williams? Robin Williams, baby. Yeah. My favorite character. The two with Aladdin and the genie, like, their they're scenes together are awesome. They're they like, even make the genie look like him. Like, yeah, they it's, yeah, yeah. it's so great. Yeah. It's sad that guy killed himself, man. I know. It is. On that note, um... <laughs> what? <laughs> We're done! Have a good week, guys! Uh, so let's uh, let's do the outro. You want to do it, Dean? Uh, sure. Follow Harv at on Twitter, Instagram. What else are you on? That's, that's about it. Oh. <laughs> uh, it's at Harv Parma on both, right? Yes. Consistency, Consistency is key. Yes. Uh, I'm on Twitter and Instagram at Maximum Dean. Uh, what are you guys on? I don't know. I'm just uh, on Twitter at, at DWL zero. I am on Twitter, but I do not remember my number sequence at the moment, so we'll come back to that. It's like her name or something, <laughs> like something and then like eight digits afterwards. <laughs> well, it's like it, my name is actually incorporated into the into the uh, two words. It's the shadow, but talk, that's because my talk, name. Talk about some little messaging right there. <laughs> exactly. And I think, and then I don't know the numbers, so I barely use Twitter, but yeah. Twitter is the shit. Twitter is the best. Yeah. <sighs> Can you say so? Uh, Follow our show on YouTube, 
Um, we haven't been really good on YouTube, but I think we're, it's gonna be a change. We're gonna do we're gonna do better now. We're gonna be better, try it real hard. Nice. Um, <laughs> we're on SoundCloud. We're on iTunes. Is iTunes fixed? Uh, no, I'm dealing with all. The, I was gonna tell you, I'm dealing with all episode stuff tomorrow. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're on. Off and re-upload everything. Okay, we're we're there. We're everywhere. So, just follow, subscribe, like, share, all, all that fun stuff. And thank you for joining us, Isha. Uh, my pleasure. Yeah, thank you. you enjoy yourself. Yeah, I'll nice be here. You. And Derek, well. Yeah, it was good. good <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. You're good too. <laughs> you, you didn't make it awkward. You didn't make it awkward at all. Yeah, I'm not there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, afterwards. All right, um, and we're out. Goodbye. Peace. Okay.